Hello, welcome to the data channel and you are watching modern data architecture concepts and as part of this interactive video so we will discuss actually what exactly this playlist mean for you and uh, so what exactly you can expect from this uh, playlist right so and uh, so definitely you will uh, we will briefly explain this will be a very quick and short video to just understand uh, uh, to make you understand what you can expect from the series of uh, videos that are coming as part of this playlist right and uh, like definitely if you are uh, into the learning path about the data and uh, so if you want to learn the data architecture side of it and the design part of it right and uh, you want to know how the systems are designed what are the concept of how the concept of uh, like database data warehouse data lake uh, so the evolution of this journey is also definitely this uh, playlist will definitely help you understand right and uh, before proceeding if you are new to this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications so let's get started So you might be uh, like especially if you're working as a data engineer or you're into data space right so you will be always uh, looking to work in the uh, like a, with the large uh, scale uh, large scale of the data and uh, definitely you will be having the challenges of volume variety and uh, all kind of data that is coming into the systems and uh, so uh, like i mean uh, so as a data engineer or a data professional you will have the use case where you have to uh, make the data available for the different teams like data science data analysis data analytics and ai solutions right and that that uh, responsibility will be yours as a data engineer uh, to build that uh, the backbone of all these uh, like uh, teams right so that that you need to kind of uh, enable uh, by bringing all the data required for this team and uh, and and make them available in the in the required format to con uh, to make their uh, consumption layer uh, strong right and uh, so when you talk about uh, building these uh, solutions uh, right so you need to as a data engineer you need to integrate multiple uh, systems and also you have to ingest the data from multiple source systems and you have to uh, also dispatch the data when you say dispatch you need to uh, maybe push the data or maybe avail make the available uh, data available to, for the other systems to down same uh, like down same system to pull the data from right and also you have a use case where you need to cleanse the data that means uh, clean the data and uh, maybe uh, you apply a lot of normalization and uh, then perform some kind of transformations using some joins and combine and whatnot right and finally you build a layer where you can present or expose the data to the uh, final layer where uh, maybe from uh, any of these systems right data science analysis team analytics team or ai solutions or build any kind of reports so that will uh, uh, that will that is dependent on this data right and uh, so this is how the simple um, architecture or the simple uh, the day to day of a data engineer looks like right but however as the data volume grows let's think about this scenario right so as the data volume goes uh, or the data requirement grows right so that what happens is uh, we need to ingest and uh, process uh, the large volume of the data and this is never ending story because so you need you need to uh, keep on adding the multiple sources as the organization grows as the requirement grows so you will have uh, like definitely without the scalability so you cannot sustain uh, with any kind of solutions right so that's why uh, in the recent times we have a horizontal uh, storage uh, like horizontal scaling system for storages and also we uh, need to have a capability or ability to dynamically scale our compute resources to address uh, processing and consumption uh, spikes where and where it comes right so since we are combining our data source together into our model we are not only need to append the data to the tables uh, but also we need to uh, do uh, insertions updations and deletions uh, like uh, you might be thinking of merging the data or upsetting the records so this is not a simple process because uh, you're talking about a lot of uh, complex data transformations or business logic that's behind this uh, it is not just a merge and upset so it, there is a lot of logic and business complications around it and also we need to make that uh, it is uh, asset compliant 
right that means it it guarantees the transactions that is happening and uh, without having to rewrite the large data files because whenever you try to uh, re re rewrite the large data files so that it will definitely impact your performance right so with this uh, you might have already understood the challenge of a data engineer right so or uh, the data person who is a uh, working to collate this all data which is coming from the multiple sources think about the volumetric analysis uh, and uh, look about look about the cost right of the of the growing volume of the data and how to integrate that uh, uh, and uh, considering the multiple integration pattern from the source system and target systems so all these are challenges and if you combine that with a scale right the scalability which is a very important or which is a very key aspect when you are thinking about uh, uh, the big data right uh, in the big data world so how exactly this is being dealt currently right let us see so definitely there are uh, two different things that we're talking here is the first one is a data warehouse so where we are talking about uh, dumping like uh, the data warehouse here and the left hand side you see a data lake where you just dump the data in any kind of a format whether it is a raw format whether it's structured unstructured semi-structured you just dump the data into this uh, data lake and uh, the right side uh, you see that's the data warehouse right so currently if you talk about a 2022 23 24 kind of a year uh, right so uh, in this uh, uh, year so we talked more about uh, like a data warehouse and also we talked about a like a uh, like a data lake right so data lake actually it started when azure is having a, its own uh, adls uh, azure data lake storage and you, if you talk about uh, aws we have a s3 kind of storage uh, where it can be considered similar to the data lake and if you are if you are familiar with the uh, Hadoop right so it is called as the HDFS Hadoop distributed file systems uh, but the, the entirely the concept is same that uh, it is a storage system where you just dump any kind of data irrespective of whether it is a structured unstructured semi-structured or any uh, any volume of data also right so with that uh, what happened what started happening is the there were two different services uh, that uh, the industry uh, has right so one is uh, the solution of a data lake where you can dump the data in scale and here if you talk about there is a horizontal scalability available because you started using azure aws right and there is a decoupling of the storages also and while you uh, while you are talking uh, parallel on the so this is more of a olap right it's used for the analytical platform as a user as an analytical platform for olap however for the transactional uh, systems so you 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 the data lake that you are using has its own limitation because it didn't have uh, it was not asset compliant basically so that's uh, where the data warehouse was still uh, helping us uh, in maintaining the transactional guarantee uh, which was offered by the relational databases or data warehouses and uh, however uh, the main limitation of uh, traditional data warehouses was uh, it was coupled to a storage and compute uh, into an on-premise appliances uh, and do not have the degree of horizontal scalability available uh, when compared to the data lake right so now you see a gap right basically um, so we are trying to address uh, the two different problem with two different tools here right so data lake has its own uh, advantages and disadvantages data warehouse is having its own advantages and disadvantages so there are many points but at a high level if you think right so data warehouse is uh, meant for uh, multiple uh, multiple uh, multiple uh, so data warehouse is meant meant for uh, multiple reads right and uh, it is not uh, meant for multiple writes on the other hand where you talk about data lake data lake so it is meant for uh, multiple writes and not for multiple reads so that's where uh, it become evident that how these systems are uh, more talking about uh, OLAP and OLTP kind of scenarios and uh, two different uh, scenarios and two different problems has two different solutions here and also the data warehouse uh, problem that we discussed right it is a uh, it is most of the times it's on-premise appliance and uh, the scalability aspect was uh, very low in terms of our uh, data warehouses so these kind of challenges uh, bought in uh, to idea of merging these uh, two capabilities and making it one bundle and call it as a delta lake so delta lakes uh, bring uh, brings a capability of both uh, transactional systems and uh, it also brings the reliability and also supports the upsert and merge right because uh, 
if you talk about just a data lake so it doesn't support the upsert and merge and it also doesn't like uh, it's not asset compliant uh, basically right and if you talk about data warehouse it was asset compliant but uh, it is not meant for storing a huge volume of data in a scalable manner so when you talk about delta lake so it has the capacity of uh, the scalability of uh, um, the da uh, data lake and also it, it also has the capacity of uh, data warehouse where it is asset compliance so this makes uh, combines the power of two right and make it to one so like delta lake is the is one one uh, one such enabler for building a data lake uh, lake houses and open data architecture that combines the best of data warehouses and data lakes so it's basically a um, data architecture kind of so, like a solution at an architecture level but it is combining the capacity or the co combining the power of both and making it as a delta lake so in this particular playlist uh, what we will discuss is we will discuss more about how the evolution has journey has uh, uh, begun from uh, like i uh, say data rdbms data warehouse and then data lake and then finally in, we are in the delta lake so how the evolution journey has taken place and we will discuss more about the delta lake and uh, start using its uh, some of the capabilities and uh, we will also discuss first discuss about uh, delta lake uh, and um, um, Delta Lake is an important tool basically for building the modern enterprise uh, data platforms and uh, data science and AI solutions right and uh, after that we will also discuss how to set up the Delta Lake uh, with a uh, spark using the spark engine or the capabilities of spark uh, so in this uh, particular playlist you can uh, expect a few of the videos uh, that follow through uh, with demonstrate the fundamental functions and operations of Delta Lake using a step-by-step -step, uh, um, instructions and some uh, real world examples right and uh, so hope this hope this was useful in under understanding what you can expect in this playlist right and if you are new to this channel we would recommend to please subscribe and also press bell button for inst instant notifications thanks for watching